right guys, we're here to roast some stuff. We're here to talk about the worst products that I tried this year. Cue the sirens, cue the sirens, cause it's an emergency. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for being here. If you didn't see, yesterday I talked all about my favorite products of 2020, the things that I loved the absolute most. I kept it to about 10 products. And today we're gonna be talking about the products that were my least favorite, things that I didn't get on with. And I have about 10 here as well. I will say, I feel like the intro is a little dramatic. Let's get real. I'm pretty lucky this year that I haven't had these major bomb products. Like bomb is in like ugh, explosions, they're bad. <laughs> I really haven't had too many and I think there's a few things for that one I honestly don't feel like I try a ton a ton a ton of new makeup especially in the scope of the beauty world here on YouTube I try to be pretty uh, careful with my purchases I try to make sure they're things based off reviews that I think I'd like already I try to do my due diligence so I'm not buying things that I don't like I don't really love wasting products and so I feel like I'm pretty careful on that I also feel like I've tried really hard this year to hone in on what I like so even if I get some PR if I feel like from the beginning that shit's not gonna work for me I'm not gonna open it up and I'd rather pass it on to someone else like I'm not even gonna waste my like what to tell you like yeah it's shitty I knew I wouldn't like it I'm not gonna do that <laughs> so I feel like because of that I don't have a ton of like horrible products so I say all that to kind of keep in mind that these are just the worst of the things that I've tried this year um, and with that although I don't like a lot of these and sometimes they they really sucked or they like literally hurt me <laughs> like physically hurt me. Some other reasons I might not like these are kind of petty. Some of these are kind of weird. Um, it kind of was hard and I had to scrape around trying to find like 10 products to show you. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into a fun hangout, roasting some makeup that sucked. <laughs> yeah, you guys know, it'll be fun. We're gonna start off with definitely my number one worst product this whole year. And that was 100% this Kopari deodorant. I was beyond excited to try this thing. I was, <laughs> I was. I don't know what it was, but I did not want to tr use my Dove deodorant. I wanted something new and fun and cool. And so I bought this during a boxy pop-up and I got it for a great deal. I think it was like seven bucks. It normally retails for like about 12. It's in the scent Gardenia, which smells amazing. And honestly, when I hauled this in my boxy charm pop-up video, I got quite a few comments being like, that shit didn't work for me. Girl, be careful. Like I got a lot more than I was expecting. I was like, wow. Okay, guys, like, you know, products work differently for different people. <laughs> No, you guys were all warning me. I should have known, man. I should have known then. So anyway, this smells so good. I love this gardenia scent. I liked the way it felt. I liked the container. Like I, <laughs> this thing tried to trick me so much and it worked. So anyway, I put this on, was using it the first couple of days. No big deal. As I continue to use this though, I didn't feel like this kept me like, not stinky 100% like I was a little stinky sometimes if I was maybe moving a little bit more doing something a little bit more aggressive <laughs> with my body for the day but I didn't mind that part what really was the worst is that over time this all of a sudden like a light switch it just flipped and all of a sudden my armpits were so red and rashy and itchy and I mean it literally hurt to have my armpit like my skin touch each other because it was so raw and red from using this deodorant. Um, and it sucked, <laughs> it really sucked. It was like, oh my gosh. So I had to stop using it obviously. And that is actually a reaction I found with a lot of the comments that a lot of you guys have had. I'm even gonna put the picture of my disgusting armpit here for you to see, proof. I got the receipts, this thing hurt me. <laughs> and it's definitely number one for worst product, man. I was so excited, definitely a letdown. And I've realized I've tried another natural deodorant deodorant since this or like not I think it's the baking soda or something in here whatever the hell it is whatever is in this and not in like other deodorants that I have used in the past this shit burns me hurts me makes me raw gives me kind of like this rash and it is not fun and the one I used after this did the same thing so yeah dog I know you guys have given me a lot of recommendations like Lumi a lot of you guys have given me recommendations of native so I have some other ones on my list I definitely want to try out but I kind of am careful so you know <laughs> Just like not trying to be hurt by my deodorants anymore if I can help it because it just sucks and it does have a bit of a healing time and it's just uncomfortable, you know? So F that Kapari deodorant, <laughs> it freaking sucked for me. <laughs> and if it works for you, I'm kind of jealous. I'm not gonna lie. Another product, this one is from Becca. I was really actually excited for this. I'm gonna like show you some of the beautiful photos that they had of this product. I felt like when it came out, I was just buying and living for the fan. Fantasy.
I loved how the highlighter looked and this was supposed to be used for your face and body. So this is the Becca Ignite Liquefied Light Highlighter. And what I thought was so interesting and exciting about it is I thought they were beautiful products, but usually like these are just for the body, but they said face and body. And I was like, oh my gosh, awesome. Like I wanna use it on my face. That's what I'm gonna get it for. So I got this off of Octoly. I got it as PR. So glad I didn't purchase it. I got the shade Passion. I have a passion for fashion. Oh, I hate the way that this feels. I hate it, just swatching it right now. Like, look, it's really beautiful, but this is a lie for the face. They're lying to me. <laughs> This is not a formula I feel like that was made for the face. It was made for the body, let's get freaking real. And I think that for the body, sure, sure. If you're going on summer vacation, <laughs> that sounds like you're like in grade school go on summer vacation. But you know, if you're going somewhere tropical, you live in that fantasy, you're on a yacht, I don't know. Those are the things you do and you wear this and I think that that would be really pretty, especially like for a photo shoot specifically. I don't know about staying power of on the body. I heard Hannah say, Hannah Louise post, and I heard her say that this doesn't even stay on the body really either, but this is like very oily and kind of thin. I just like literally don't like it at all. I just don't like it, especially again for your face. No, 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 no. It's a lie to me. I feel like they tricked me into getting this. I also want to point out that this has a very, very prominent smell. It's kind of powdery. I don't personally like it. It smells like something from Bath and Body Works. I've also mentioned that it smells like the purple Justice perfume. If you worked at Justice just for girls like I did, hi, store manager. We had four different perfumes at a time. Well, we also got these roller balls that came all cracked and broken. That was like a whole fiasco. But our main perfumes, we had this one that was purple, and this smells like that purple perfume. I'll never forget. I'm singing Justin Bieber because, okay, I'm someone, and when I work in stores, I just sing. I'm belting out songs. Customers are all around me. I don't give a fuck. I'm just like singing. <laughs> I am insane. Okay, anyway, <laughs> anyway, this sucks. Don't suggest it, don't buy it. If you're gonna, if your sole intention is for the body, I'll send you this. <laughs> don't buy it. I just don't think you'll still like it, actually. Should we just talk about the other highlighter thing I have? This one makes me sad. I'm joking, I'm laughing at all these ones. This one, I have like a tear. I wanted this to work so bad. If you watch my favorites video, the Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighters, and my favorites, I love that thing. And so that made me look at this, and even the negative reviews, because honestly, I haven't seen a ton of positive reviews of this, and I knew that going in to buying this stupid highlighter, but because I had such a positive experience with that, I was like, you know what? No, I will love it though. I'm different than everyone else, and I will like it. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong about that. I don't like this. I don't like the formula. I don't know why she changed the formula. And it's so deceiving in the pan. It looks like it's going to be so shiny and shine so bright and be so great. But I just don't find that that's actually the case uh, for me. And so this is just a no. I don't want to harp on and on about it, honestly, because if you've watched some of my more recent videos, I have talked about this. I've talked, I've touched on it in a few of them. Not my favorite. Didn't work for me. Maybe if you're like more of a medium skin tone, maybe this would work better because it does have a deeper base on it. Um, but I just don't like the stiffer formula in here. Just such a letdown, y'all. So that's a no. Don't get it. Listen to them. Don't, you're not different. You won't like it. <laughs> No, maybe you do, but. Okay, anyway, next, let's talk about this foundation from CoverGirl. This is the Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I wanted this to work so bad for me. I actually went to the party here in LA for this uh, like launch, all the clean, fresh stuff. Really fun time, Sam and I went. We got drunk, it was like so fun. <laughs> it was like a daytime party too, so, you know. And then we like drunkenly went over to Hannah's after. Any, someone's here. Okay, I went to go check the door. I got a package from Ofra. Okay, I don't know, it's just like for, it is wine. Speaking of getting drunk, I'm just kidding. Oprah is the best, guys. This is just because, like it says, Glowful for 2021. While 2020 was as unexpected as the year could be for everyone, we found joy and thankfulness because of all your support. They're pretty awesome. If you wonder why influencers work with Ofra, it's because they are really great to influencers. And spoiler, not all brands are, let me tell you. They just like actually are respectful and that's awesome. Anyway, not what we're here for. <laughs> and also, okay, <laughs> going back to my story 
about the CoverGirl party. It was super fun. Also, we were probably more just like tipsy. I don't think I've ever been like truly drunk drunk in my whole life. Anyway, not what this video is about, Lauren. Get back to the point. CoverGirl, this foundation. Great party, great experience. I was looking forward to this product and this kind of whole clean, fresh launch so much. I was really excited for it. And unfortunately, I just didn't like these products. It has been a while since I've used this, but if I remember correctly, this had issues of smell. First off, it smelled kind of like the other primer I used from them before. That was kind of like a Frito. Like it literally smells like Fritos. <laughs> like very corn chippy. So this has a little bit of that going on, a little off-putting, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very savory smell as you put stuff on your face. But more so my issue with this was that there were kind of these little, I found every time I used it, there were these little pieces of like, I don't know, they're little balls that would not be in the, okay, start over. There were these little tiny specks like little balls and specks of what felt like clumps of powder or I don't even know. I don't, I'm just making up what I think these things are, but they seemed like powder that didn't get incorporated into the product well. I don't know what was going on. It was so weird. I also did feel a little bit of itchiness when I would use this. I couldn't get it to go on super smooth. I felt like it was a little bit patchy and my skin is definitely notorious. Like it's, it's tough. Finding a good foundation for me is tough. Let me be clear, but there were just many issues with this and it was so disappointing because again I was not only excited it also was like the beginning of the year the pandemic hadn't started I went to this awesome party I felt like such an influencer <laughs> and then getting this home I was so excited to try it I was like not only did I get to do all that but I'm gonna try something that I am excited for I actually wanted to purchase and I didn't like it and I really tried hard I tried so many times to make this thing work for me it's a no it's a no for me dog sorry sorry I will go and have a fun time at your parties. Oh, I do have another highlighter here. This one has been added to the list of things I don't like more recently because I bought it during Black Friday, but I have tried this so much and I really, I wanna like it so bad, I really don't. This is the Kimchi Highlighter in Get Glow 3 Hollywood Glow and I just don't love it. It's a little too powdery for me. It also just doesn't have the shine I'm looking for in a highlighter. I can make this work. It's just definitely not a favorite and it's definitely something that was kind of a bummer. I love the packaging. I love that it's a duo pan. I just wish this had more of that thin, really reflective gel -A formula. It would have been beautiful. I would have loved it. It just feels like what could have been. What could have been? I know one of you guys said it's your favorite highlighter, so girl, I'm so happy for you and I wish I could love it and recommend it, but for me, what I like, I can't in good conscience. We're getting kind of close. Okay, let's talk about weird shit because it is my channel and that's what I do. So let's talk about toothpaste and a toothbrush. <laughs> this is from CO Bigelow and this is from Marvis. I got sent this as PR because your girl would apply for some toothpaste PR. I would, and I loved it, it was great. I got three different Marvis's toothpaste that were all like, kind of like around the world. That's like the collection of toothpaste, I know. <laughs> I mean, it gets me excited, and you know what? A lot of you guys were excited in my giveaway that I did where I had toothpaste. <laughs> A lot of you guys were excited for the toothpaste, so I know I'm not alone. I'm not the only one that gets excited about something a little different in the toothpaste department, you know? <laughs> anyway, I really liked the Caracom, or Karakum. That one is so great. Love, love, love it. This one, no. This was bad. So we went through the Karakum one, then we went through the Rhombus, which was like the really fruity one. Like it was so fruity and like actually sweet in your mouth. And that one wasn't my favorite, but we could at least use it. This one, Sam and I were like, hell no. And Sam is someone who will clean his plate. He's like the garbage disposal of our house. He'll eat like anything. He doesn't like things go to waste. This, he was like, no, mm -mm. <laughs> This is like a granny's powder room. Uh, perfume in your toothpaste and there's a little bit of mint. It's bad. And this is something too that like stuck in my toothbrush even afterward. Oh, it's so bad. It literally feels like you are brushing your teeth with perfume. You are brushing your teeth with perfume. You cussed for the first time and you're cleaning your own mouth out with soap. Like it is bad. Do not recommend. I would love to know if you have tried the Royal Toothpaste from Arvis. Do you, and you like it? How? How? I can't, too, too disgusting. I'm gonna send it to my mom though, <laughs> see if she likes it. Maybe she will, maybe she can get through it, cause I can't, and she used to oil pulse, huh? <laughs> you know. Okay, anyway, this is a toothbrush, and the reason, okay, I don't want this to get sexual, but let me tell you, 
this is my mouth and this is the toothbrush. This big ass toothbrush is too big. <laughs> It is crazy. I can't brush with, this is a horse, horse brush. It's so big. I can't even, I have to, no, it does not work. Also the bristles, I mean, it's, it's a nice little whatever brush. The bristles on this are also very stiff, very hard. If you have any paranoia about like eroding your gums like I do, oh my gosh, all I can think when I'm using this is just like, <laughs> I am scraping my gums away from the root of my tooth. Oh no, it's bad. I have a lot of fears of that. And so these like, re like you could, oh, I don't even know. It feels almost like a wire brush. They're so rough and hard and they just hurt your little gums. <laughs> it is painful and not a good experience. And like imagine the torture session that is using both of these together. No, thank you. Too big. It may be if you have really large teeth or a really large mouth, maybe my mouth is just kind of tiny. I don't know, but this thing fucking hurt. I tried, I really tried to make it work because it doesn't seem like it. When you're just like holding it, you're like, oh yeah, toothbrush. Then you get the perspective once it's in there and you're like, holy crap. So I didn't like those. <laughs> I really didn't like those. All right, let's talk about a palette. The only palette that I have in here, I didn't like this. I know that there are mixed opinions, so like, you might like it, that's fine, but I didn't, okay? I did not like this palette from Urban Decay. This is the Naked Ultraviolet. I kind of knew when this came that I wouldn't like it, but I got it sent to me in PR, so I thought I would do a review, which I have. I'll leave that link down below. And I really feel like I tried to make this work. I really tried to set aside the fact that I didn't initially think I would like it. But overall, I just don't. I don't love the formula. I think on the neutral colors, it's fine. I did really like digital as a shade, but when it comes to these, basically like everything in here, so like from here to here, I didn't think that it was a good formula. I've heard people say like, this is like for people who want something very light, but still purple. And if that's you, maybe this would work. I can see that. But for what I want, I want the neutrals to be bomb neutrals over here. And then I want the colorful shades to be bomb colorful shadows. And I don't feel like these did that. This pink warning, you don't need a warning. It's not good and you can barely see it. The shine's barely there, just not very good. Euphoric, it should be amazing because it's one of those like cool tone purples that has a slight like shiftiness to it. But again, I'm telling you the formula and the pigmentation on these just wasn't there. Lucid should be just so beautiful and I just don't find that to be the case. There's something kind of powdery. There's something lackluster in these shadows that I just don't appreciate and I just don't I don't like it. I have so many more amazing shadows that I could recreate this palette with and I'd way rather use those. And that's just my thoughts on the matter, y'all. I just, it's not for me. The colorful side, not for me. I don't mind the actual color story. I think the color story is kind of pretty. Um, and I think the color story alone, like having these specific tones and colors together can definitely give you a neutral look or a colorful look and something kind of naked, but ultraviolet. But again, I just still think that there are issues with formula that make this lackluster and definitely not worth the like 50 something dollars that this palette is. I hate to say it, but I do believe that. Luckily, I really feel like they picked it up with the Stone Vibes palette. That one I really enjoyed. So I hope they go in that, they keep going there, keep it going with that type of stuff. Uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed for them. One of the last things I have to talk about, some more eyeshadows that I picked up this year. These are singles and these are from Colored Rain. I did buy these on sale, so I should have known. And I think they are discontinuing their singles. So just, you know, this is just a warning. Do not buy these. <laughs> Specifically the shade Sea Breeze and also the shade Flashy. They just honestly, as as metallics and like, ugh. I just hated the metallic shades I picked up from them or the shimmer shades. They suck. They could go in the naked palette. <laughs> I'm serious, they just suck. They're really not good. I feel like the lights maybe make them look better than they are. Didn't like these, was not impressed. Um, they were like 350 luckily, so it wasn't like, a t I'm not out a ton of money, but I just wanna warn you, don't buy them. The mattes I've enjoyed, the shimmers, nothing that I bought was worth it, honestly. And I've heard really good things about the shimmers and the palettes, so I'm assuming these singles just, I don't know, I don't know what's up with them. Don't buy them though. Don't buy Seabreeze for sure and don't buy Flashy, don't do it. Just wait for a palette. 
palette because I've heard good things like obviously the Queen of Hearts palette people loved I feel like even cheers to the makeup or cheers to the beauty people love that people love the Safari rain like I feel like there were a lot of great ones so I was kind of a little shocked by getting these but I do think maybe there's something to the fact that they're like trying to get rid of them change up the formula so if you see them just pass up girl do not do not get lured in by a sale you will be disappointed I think I only have one more thing to roast that's it one more okay you guys this is a newer one but these suck don't get them refreshments is a new subscription box from ipsy and I do get this as PR so I got this sent to me um, but these wipes suck I don't really suggest makeup wipes honestly but if you were to buy them do not buy these they are literally the worst the packaging is cute they have like the reusable little thing here so you can actually really close them up which can be nice but as wipes they literally do not get anything off they're just moist they're just like water towelettes i can't even get rid of like swatches on my hand with these okay let alone i can't imagine trying to get off like stubborn mascara stubborn like even brow gel like oh my gosh it would be a nightmare this is also one of the ones that kind of just moves everything around and it doesn't really like i don't know break through oil wise or whatever it needs to do it just doesn't break through and like actually get rid of stuff it just kind of moves it around wets it down and then you still definitely have product on you and and like that's like the fresh one right like the juicy fresh clean towel still doesn't do shit just not good really not good and probably some of the worst wipes i've ever used like ever so stay away stay away from those <laughs> that's it those are the worst products I tried this year I know it was weird a weird assortment I don't have like a ton of stuff to share with you I feel like this year I feel like stuff either worked out for me or I just didn't even try it in the first place because I knew it probably would suck so <laughs> I would love to know what products you hated this year what you tried and thought sucked in the comments I think that would be fun let it out girl let us know what you hated <laughs> and other than that I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one bye guys